Hello, my name is Margie Bryant and welcome. And today I was having a coffee with a friend of mine who's had a cancer scare and it triggered a thought of, let's be very, very careful about the chemicals in our environment and what we have in our homes. She asked the innocent question, obviously, when she had this cancer scare to her doctor, why? And he actually mentioned that we need, really need to be very mindful of chemicals that are around and it can be anywhere in our environment of course but I thought let's start in our very precious homes and today I thought I'd bring some helpful tips on things like how to clean an oven in an environmentally safe way and I'm going to demonstrate it for you so that you can see. I'm also going to mention something that you can use in the laundry and something that you can use in the bathroom for your own hair care, skin care and for what you put on your body, obviously. So these are the three areas that I think are really important. But to start with, it's going to be simple things like vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. Very, very simple, wonderful ingredients that work elementarily in your oven in a dynamic way and chemistry at play. So I'm just going to put a little bit on so that you can see. And it just cleans it very efficiently. Very small sprinkle of the bicarbonate of soda and then you pour vinegar and it has a lovely bubbling frothing and that will actually clean the oven window. It will also clean the oven internally as I put more on. And that is just so simple and then in about, I leave that for five, ten minutes, and then I take a clean cloth, which I throw away, and I wipe all of the grime away. So that's just a simple tip for kitchens. Rather than reaching for the chemical sprays, the atomizers, uh, very troublesome, I think, and what are those poisons that you're putting on, and particularly to creating heat in your oven and cooking your food, why go through having those chemicals in your oven? And vinegar, and bicarbonate of soda as something that's so simple and available to everyone. So that's a simple tip for the oven. And I'd just like to move to what to do for the laundry. So I reach for things like, I keep it as simple as possible, and I go for as delicate as possible, because the clothes we're wearing need to be as environmentally sound and without chemicals on it. So I don't do any dry cleaning, because you don't want any of those chemicals in it and I wash our clothes in a wool and delicate earth choice, which is nature's organics. And I choose this has got bicarbonate in it as well. It's got eucalyptus in it as well. And it's got things, plant-based formula. It's grey water and septic safe. And it's Australian made and owned. And it's cruelty free. Those things are very important values for me. And I think that that's a, a lovely choice to think about for your clothes. And I reach for organic wherever I am. So a air freshener for the bathroom, it, this is grapefruit and pomegranate. And again, this is an essential oil that supports the organic farmers and its inclusion of certified organic essential oils. A very important word certified organic. You, many people claim that they're organic, organic this and that, which means just of the earth, but if it's a certified, it needs the accreditation for it. So that's just a tip. I don't do any sprays, this is just a small plunger and it's just in the bathroom for people that would like it in the bathroom. For showering every day, I really highly recommend one that is not going to be has any no added chemical preservatives in it. Now this is very tricky to find. I don't recommend soaps for people to put on to their skin because it can be very drying for the skin. And many people have allergies. So you want ones that are no added chemicals, preservatives, really important. And ones that are pure and really very, very beautiful and delicious. And this has got a lovely light tangerine smell it is a lovely shower gel. It froths up beautifully in a bathtub. It's fantastic for your babies, for 
you have no worries whatsoever with this particular product. It's got things like avocado oil in it, tangerine, the fruits in it. Absolutely delightful to have for children and for you. Because every day, if you're putting preservatives on your skin and whatever is in a product that is lengthening the life of that product may well be shortening your life. And we've got to be very conscious of that. And it's the preservative that is the, that is the limiting factor. I also recommend for hair, again, no added chemical preservatives in your hair care. Your hair, I'm a swimmer and I wash my hair every day. And it's really important to have hair that is really good and easy bounce and doesn't have that matted feeling. And I used to be very troubled when I used to go to the supermarkets and I'd change from one brand to the other because each of them left me with an itchy scalp or drying or I looked at the ingredients and I was just horrified what I was actually putting on. And I'd have to change them all the time. Being a swimmer daily, this is really something that I have to be very conscious of. I wash my hair daily now and it is no preservative in this particular product, both in the uh, shampoo and in the beautiful moisturizer of the uh, conditioning, um, nourishing conditioner that you put on afterwards. Absolutely lovely and I haven't changed that for years and years and years and my hair, the hairdresser compliments me on my hair and I take these products to my hairdresser because I don't want to put any chemicals, any added chemicals onto my body as I know that they are absorbed into your skin within a very short time frame and that's what you really want to protect yourself from lifelong. And same with skin. I put on, after I've been through a shower or a bathtub, and particularly at the change of seasons, many people have scaly, flaky skin. And again, I put one on that is, uh, has a formula that is beautiful, self-preserving formula within it and a lovely moisturizer. I just love that, having glowing skin and this is a particular one that I really highly recommend. So reach out and I'd be very happy to talk to you about your needs. But I thought these tips would be helpful to you to know what is in the household and things that you can change and look after you lifelong. My whole purpose and passion is that you are the healthiest and happiest families in the world. Margie Bryant, and I look very, very much look forward to talking with you tomorrow.